This is a fake Momo steering wheel and fake button horn. And try namin palitan to. I want to change this to a different button horn, ibang button horn naman kasi pang defective na to. Nothing. It's really hard. Pag prenes mo siya, medyo mahirap. So, we're gonna try replace it with this. Still, copy lang siya. Fake. Cost me like 8 or 10 dollars. Ordered this one online. <clears throat> I think, mas maganda patingnan to. I don't have budget for the original one. So, pwede na din siguro to. Pansamantagal. I'm gonna remove this one and try slowly replace. I, I don't have any idea how to replace it, so it will take some time. And also the bolts, talakalawang na siya, they're all rusty. Maybe I, if I can find one, I'm gonna replace them. Also, meron siyang kasamang wires and allen key. You can order this one in Amazon, eBay, or Shopee, Lazada. Quick release pala to. This is a quick release steering wheel, but let me see if I can remove it with one hand. Oh, pwede. Kaya pala. But it's kind of hard to install this back with my right hand on the phone. So, fake din to. This one is also a replica Momo quick release kit. But, uh, I'll let you know what will happen. And let me see if I can try show you how to install the copy or replica of Momo button horn. Okay. Let's see if we can install this replica Momo button horn. This is the old and fake Momo button horn. It's kind of gum up or not working properly. You need to press hard for this to work. I don't really know how to replace it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay. And I think I need to. I think I need to use a precision Phillips screwdriver. The bottom part. Oops, or not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> or. Maybe a long nose. This might work. Oh. This is gonna be quite hard. Ah. Or. Maybe I should just remove this. Right, 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 right. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just go on and see what we have. Okay, it's just some wires. There are no clamps. Okay. This kind of sucks, no? I think it is much better if we can use the new set of wires that came with the replica Momo button horn. So with that, it will be much better if we can remove this. But I think I need, I need the pliers. one might work. We don't want to drop this. Oh, this will take some time. Holy schmuck. This is really hard with the camera. Let me try to loosen them up and then I'll show you what I did. Well, luckily, I was able to remove the bolts. There are like four bolts. 
so you can see there are two remaining bolts here you need to use the uh, pliers for for the lock over here and then the precision Phillips screwdriver won't work properly you need a much bigger one to loosen up the bolts that should work it's really hard to show it on cam because I don't have a very good angle now here's another problem that I need to face <laughs> here is the or here are the old uh, wirings as you can see this one they have uh, what you call this a closed loop clamp you can easily stick them up over here but for the new wires they look kind of different see this one will plug in perfectly to the new momo button horn at the back like so but we don't have something like this to plug them in on the steering wheel so I think we need to still use the old ones or maybe just cut this I don't know I'm gonna try to figure out things and I'm gonna show you what will be the outcome so I'll be back in a while so I tried cutting the new set of wires and trying to attach them to the old ones but this simply won't work I'm having a problem inserting the bottom horn because this one is too long so I just decided to use the old uh, wires and then I use a glue gun to solder them I hope this works if not then I may need to start all over again another problem that I forgot to check a while ago is this uh, I want to show you real quick so when inserting this there's like a small piece of plastic that you, we need to shave there as you can see it's not even the top uh, right over here this there's like a piece of plastic in here that I need to shave so I can push this all the way down it's not it's not pushing in so oh one sec there you go I think it's in nope not yet it's, it's not really flat it's like a small piece of plastic it's really hard to get perfect angles right just right over here and we need something to shave it I'm gonna be back and see if I'm right I'll let you know guys okay here's the plastic thing that I need to shave over here and I know what don't have any of what this tool is called maybe filing tool I'm just gonna shave this a little bit top over here so I can insert the bottom horn properly be back in a flash and let's see what will happen I'm still not yet done and I almost shaved every plastics on there's like four corners over here just look at my hands they're all dirty and then after spending some time shaving it found out that there's like an adapter here <laughs> aluminum adapter so now we have a new problem I can install this over here with no problems let me just try show you I can round them up real quick go and go yep perfect problem is I cannot install this back over here so now I need to shave something over I think on this part on the aluminum part just a little bit I don't have a Dremel tool so this will take some time but let me spend like a few minutes or maybe an hour on this one she's now installed but look at my hands they're all dirty I have to use uh, 
grinder. One sec. I have to use this kind of pad and what's the other one? Not sure what you call this kind. Maybe a Dremel. I don't know. I also replaced the bolts with stainless ones. But I'm not sure if they're kind of good enough. I need to find tapered ones like this. So while I'm looking for this kind of bolts, I'm just going to use the uh, stainless ones. These are for rotor bolts on the bicycle. So all I need to do is align this properly and then install it on the car and see if it will work. This one took me about, like more than an hour to, to finish things up. I'm going to disassemble this and show you the uh, shims that I shaved a while ago and give me a few minutes. This is the shims or adapter that I've been trying to shave and it goes over here and then we'll have to install the bottom horn on the fake steering wheel. Installing it will take some time because it's not a hundred percent perfect fit but I'll do a test and see if this will fire up, if this one will work. I'm hoping it will. So, also, I'm going to replace all the bolts with just the ordinary stainless. The fake Momo bolt on boat <laughs> button horn is now installed back. And moment of truth, will this fire up? Let's see if this will work or not. My hands are still dirty. Ah. <laughs> Okay, mission accomplished. The only downside of doing this kind of project or should I say DIY, do it yourself or destroy it yourself. Take a look at these scratches. Unfortunately, I made some scratches. My fault. I'm not sure if it's already here when here or there. I don't know. I'm not sure if this one it's been sitting here for like long time ago. I'm gonna have to check my previous video. So far so good. It's I also replaced the stainless bolts. These are for the mountain bike rotor bolts. I'm gonna look for the tapered ones, the one that will work well with the quick release steering wheel. Again this is just a replica Momo steering wheel and Momo bottom horn. I don't have a budget yet for the original ones and when I bought this car it's already installed so I ain't gonna complain. I'm just gonna have to use whatever I have at the moment right now. Okay so adios that's just all for now.